everybody, it's Jessica with Thousand Calls a Day again, and we're continuing our series on how to train your My Outdesk virtual assistant to make a thousand calls a day. I've got Jeff Cohen here with me today, and we're going to talk about how to set up your Mojo dialer and scripting. Thanks, Jessica. I'm so excited about this topic. Um, it has to do with Mojo dialer and making sure that your VA or your agents are making at least a thousand calls a day. A lot of people roll their eyes when they hear that. You can absolutely, in an eight-hour shift, make over a thousand dials uh, using that Mojo three line dialer. So let me help you first start off with exactly what you want to have set up. First, you need to make sure you have an ID set up for each of the agents that your VA will be calling for or the agent themselves if they're going to be making those calls. Essentially, what the ID means is it's just going to have a name and a phone number, a cell phone number that's associated. When your VA starts a phone call, they can actually make the call and have it look like that call's coming from your agent. Um, so a VA is making just listed calls, for example, when a person sees that call coming in, they're going to see the cell phone number of your agent. And why that works so well is then when that person decides to call back, which happens probably 30 or 40 times a day, those callbacks are going to go directly to your agent or your internal sales agent if you have someone like that on your team instead of the calls going back to the VA because you want the VA making the outbound calls. Next is going to be voicemail drops. In addition to the cell phone number, the, each individual agent on your team can create custom voicemails for the types of calls that that VA is going to be making. So let's pretend like your VA is going to be making just listed calls. Let's say that you direct them every listing that you guys take, that you want them to make a call to everybody in the neighborhood. What's great about Mojo is it syncs up with call directory and you can access every subdivision in the entire United States so when your VA is going in to make the calls on your behalf, they can drop your voicemail to everyone in any given subdivision. Um, a script that would go along with the just listed that I think would sound really good would be something like this. Hi, this is Jeff Cohn. Uh, I'm calling and reaching out to everyone in ABC subdivision to let them know about a new property we just listed at 1234 Jefferson Street. That home is being offered for $250,000. Uh, we just listed it three days ago. We're actually going to be having an open house this coming Sunday between 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. If you'd like to come check it out, feel free. We'd love to have you there. Also, I wanted to find out if you'd be interested in getting your house um, marketed and find out what your home value is. If you'd be interested in that, we can offer that to you free of charge. I can have one of my top agents come in and meet with you in person and share with you a quick 30-minute presentation and let you know what you'd make if you were to sell your house in this booming seller's market. Please feel free to reach back out to me at 402-555-5555. Thanks and have a great day. So essentially, your virtual assistant is going to call and drop that voicemail for you on those just listed. Let's pretend like you're having your virtual assistant call your past clients. Um, you're, you're, you could have a drop voicemail for past clients that just says, hey, it's Jeff Cohn. Just, it's been forever since we talked last. Wanted to touch base with you, see how things were going. Uh, also wanted to remind you, I have that moving truck. If you guys are ever you know, needing to help with a charity or helping your friend move, you're welcome to use that truck free of charge because you've done business with me in the past. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. would love to reconnect or take you out to lunch sometime. Call me when you get a minute or shoot me a text, 402-555-5555. Have a good day. Now let's assume in either of those scenarios the person answers, you're going to want to have specific scripts that you've trained your VA on so they know what to say. Obviously, it's not going to be like your voicemail, it's going to be a completely different script. So I think those are some amazing tools that we have access to using that Mojo dialer. You can literally make a thousand calls every single day if you're set up that way and your virtual assistant can be dropping voicemails that you've pre-recorded specific to the types of calls they're making and then of course when people are answering they have a specific script that you've directed them to use for each individual type of call trying to find opportunities for you direct opportunities with past clients that are thinking about buying and selling and always asking for referrals. And the last thing is always asking for an email address and a subdivision name so that you can update everyone in your database with an automatic email that goes out every time someone lists a house in the neighborhood. This way over the course of the next five to 10 years, they're always getting emails from your team and from you yourself every time a house hits the market in their area. When they think to list their property or refer an agent, they're going to think of you. You're the one in their face each and every day. Jessica? That's all great information. I completely love it. Um, you know, it's one of the things I always try to help all of our VAs learn is how to internalize those scripts so that they, when they do have the opportunity to answer the phone or answer the call uh, with the potential client, they, they don't mess up. They don't, they don't feel intimidated. Um, I don't want them to sound like a robot. So one of the things I, I train on a lot is uh, internalizing those scripts on the VA half of things. 
Um, Jeff, I appreciate all of your great information and your expertise always. And uh, next time we're going to talk about how to manage and lead your virtual assistant and keep them around. So talk to you guys later. Awesome. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks.